Good morning, and thank you for joining me for another How to Draw Stuff with me, Calvin Ellis. Okay, for today's lesson, we're going to go through different body types. So how to draw different cartoon body types. Um, it's quite an important thing to learn uh, when you're developing your characters, so you can do different types of characters. Um, so we're not going to look at all today of any sort of detail. Um, we're not really going to do any sort of faces and that kind of stuff. We're just going to do these different shapes, different weights to the body. Um, and then you can start adding to those later on and building up your detail. So to begin with, um, we're going to go for kind of a, quite a muscular, quite a sort of strong, strong character. For that, we want to start off with something like a kind of a curved triangle. Okay. Um, Going to go for a slightly more narrow waist there. There you go, you got the guy's hips, kind of where his pants are going to go, and you want these legs to be kind of quite stocky, quite sort of. Um, it's going to straight down here. Let's just put some simple little, little feet on. Um, so all of the weight is up here, so he's got his kind of big, strong shoulders and chest. Um, and these are where the shoulders are going to be coming from. Now our arms, let's just. See how those sort of arch downwards. So you've got these kind of um he's got muscle bound on the shoulders and they're kind of like hanging the hanging his hands down. Um let's do his little little fists in there, curve them inwards slightly. So he's got a little bit of weight to them. Um and let's put a little bit of shape for a head on there. Now we want his head coming down, we don't want it kind of separate. So he's got a big, thick, muscular neck as well. Again, just a little bit of weight on there. And we have our first kind of quite muscular, uh, muscular body type. Um, we're going to go for something completely different next. We're going to go for kind of a really stocky sort of short character. So again, start with a nice simple shape. Got a nice sort of uh, curved, curved rectangle there. Now let's add those little um, lines on there to give a little bit of depth. Um, this adds a little bit of weight to your character. This time from either side. We want these stocky little arms just coming out again, sort of arching around to the sides a little bit. Um, and we're going to put some little little fists on there. Um, and these are all just basic guidelines um, that you then start building on later on to build up your characters. Now this guy, we want to have some nice short stocky legs. So from either side, let's fill those in. And again, let's keep these feet really simple for now. We don't want any detail at all on these. We just want to get these these different body types that you can build on later on. Now for this one, we're going to bring the head down a little bit, so it's almost like he's, he's, he's squatting. Um, got a really short, dumpy little neck. So you can barely even see any neck at all. And you've got that kind of sitting down, sitting down on top of his kind of shoulders there. Um, next, we're going to go for, let's have a look. Let's go for one down here. Let's give this guy kind of a bit of a... Bit of a heavy base, smaller at the top, so it's kind of a, a sort of a pear-shaped character. Um, for this one, let's bow his legs out a little bit. We've got a lot of weight there to carry. Okay, put a little bit of a, a couple of guidelines on there just to get a little bit of depth to your character. Um, now we want this guy to look sort of like lazy. He's very bottom heavy. He's very sort of weighty. So we want the arms to be sort of hanging down. one again it's hidden behind but just hanging down by his side um, very sort of lazy looking um, and this head again we want a nice big heavy head on there thick shoulders there we go and we've got this really kind of bottom heavy and um, pear shaped character um, let's go for a different one up here let's go for something kind of a little bit smaller let's go for again we've got the same sort of bottom heavy shape um, but this time let's go for a much bigger head and we want this guy to be a little bit more sprightly a little bit more sort of mobile um, so we're going to go for thinner legs again just keep those really nice and small um, and again these these arms let's go a little bit thinner on these ones you got another completely different body shape again now this exercise is all about practicing these different body shapes and kind of thinking about how weight would affect your characters. Um, so let's go for something that's a little bit more, still bottom heavy, but we're going for a little bit longer here. 
Um, let's sit some legs down here. Much longer legs, but a nice sort of lazy looking body there. Gonna get this guy with his hands in his pockets. Um, let's go for a kind of a nice sort of long, long thin head there. So you got a very different feel, very different pose again. Um, and you can just sort of keep playing around with these different ideas. So let's, uh, let's come right over here. Don't have a lot of room on the side, but let's go for a similar sort of shape to this, but smaller. Let's bring in a bit of a waist there. <clears throat> there we go. Now we just want to some very simple legs. There we go. And let's just sketch in a very, very simple. Again, this is all about practicing different body shapes. Doesn't matter at all about kind of getting any sort of real accuracy in here. Um, it's just playing about with these different styles of characters. And the more you sort of do this, um, the more kind of interesting characters you're going to be able to come up with. So instead of all of your characters having exactly the same sort of proportions and same body types, you're going to end up coming up with some really, some really sort of cool ideas. Um, let's go for some really long arms this time. So this guy's got really short legs, barely even got any legs at all. It's just drawing, I'm not even drawing in the fingers on this one. Just a couple of little guidelines there. And we've got another character again with a completely different sort of weight to the body. Um, and this is all about just playing about with these different ideas. So let's go for this one kind of really bottom heavy but really really thin at the top go for a head kind of at the top of that top of that sort of long neck Let's arch around some little, little legs um, and again maybe go for like thicker arms kind of thicker towards the hands at this point because it's a little bit different and again you got another completely different body shape. And this exercise is all about practicing these different body shapes to see what you can come up with. Um, so let's go up here again. Let's go for a much kind of more um, sort of rigid shape there. Um, it's kind of the same up and down. So you've got thin little legs on there. Let's just go for little arms. Uh, what kind of head we're going to go for here? Let's go for a really wide head. There we go. Again, completely different body shape again. I'm kind of running out of space on this one. Um, but you can keep going with these all day. So let's go for a really long, thin body shape on this one. Let's go for a bit of a wider head. Um, maybe some nice, long, thin arms. And then just because I have very little room, let's go for some tiny legs there. And you can see how each of these is going to become a completely different type of character. Um, and a lot of the time when I'm developing characters, um, this is how I will start off. It's kind of just sketching out little ideas. Um, and eventually you'll kind of come up with one that, one that sticks, one that you like the look of. Um, and then you can develop it a bit more. Um, and you can get in and you can start adding in your details, your belts, you can add figures, uh, you can add uh, sort of features on there. Um, you can do all the stuff that you, you want to do to sort of turn these into characters. But just experimenting with these different body types to begin with will start to help you create some really nice, interesting characters that are a little bit different from the ones you sort of have been doing previously. If you always start in exactly the same way, you always start with kind of the face, um, then your characters are going to end up being kind of similar. If you start off with this exercise, doing your different body shapes, different weights to the shoulders, different weights to the body, different weights to the legs, um, then you start to get much more character, much more sort of um, 
so many more sort of differences between the characters that you're drawing. Um, and that's it for today. Um, so have fun drawing these, have fun experimenting with your different body types, see what you can come up with. Um, as always, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you.